Hey kids, welcome to The Early Talker. Who wants to read some books? Stay tuned. So I have three books to read with you today. The first one is called Found. This book is by Selena Yoon. One day, Bear found something in the forest. What did he find? A bunny. Bear found a bunny. Bear thought it was the most special thing he had ever seen. He gently carried the toy bunny home. Look, he's showing his mummy. This lost bunny seems sad, thought Bear. He wanted to help find its home. What's he doing? Is he making flyers? With flyers stacked high, Bear set off. Who does Bear have in his backpack? That's his bunny. Bear posted flyers on every tree. How many trees are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven trees. There were many treasured things that were lost, but not a toy bunny. See, people put posters up looking for the things that they've lost. Can you find a ball? It's over here. Here's the ball. He searched high, went up, 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 high in the tree, and low for its owner. Look, he's looking in the water. Do you see fish in the water? Should we count them? One, two, three, four, five. There are five fish, but no one looking for the bunny. But no one came for the bunny. Look, is it nighttime already? They spent the whole day looking for the bunny's owner. Bear wished the bunny was his to keep. I think he loves that bunny. But the bunny's family must be so worried, thought Bear. Poor lost bunny. The next day, Bear and the bunny swing on a tire, played hide and seek. Look, Bear's behind the rock. And they picked juicy blackberries. Yum, yummy blackberries. And what are they doing here? They had a picnic. Yeah, Bear and Bunny are having a picnic. They're eating apples and... What's Bear giving Bunny? A carrot. Bear's giving Bunny a carrot. It was a perfect day until... Floppy, my bunny, said Moose. <gasps> Bear screeched to a stop. He looked surprised. Bear handed the bunny to Moose. The bunny was finally going home. It was Moose's bunny, right? But Bear is looking a little sad. He has a tear in his eye. He's sad. I don't think he wants to give up the bunny. Floppy, my dear old friend, says Moose. As a young calf, Moose had loved Floppy very much. Goodbye, Floppy, says Bear. Wait, says Moose. What's he going to do? Let's turn the page and find out. Moose was glad to see Floppy, but special toys are meant to be passed on to someone 
special. Will you take good care of Floppy for me? Said Moose. <gasps> Forever. I think Bear's so happy. The bunny wasn't lost anymore. Floppy was home, safe and found. Bear is so happy to be hugging Bunny and to call him his very own. What a nice story. Let's do another one. This book is called Opposites by Sandra Boynton. Do we know opposites? Let's see. Big and what's the opposite of big? Small. Short and it rhymes with small. Tall. Short and tall. High and low. Fast and what rhymes with low? Slow. Heavy and light. Day and night. You can see the moon. In and out. Whisper. And what rhymes with out? Shout. Weak and strong. Right, yeah, that's the right way to talk on a phone, and wrong, strong, and wrong rhyme. Hot and cold, young and old. Wet and dry. He's under the umbrella, so he's dry. Hello. Goodbye. I love that book. Should we do one more? Let's do The Big Red Barn by Margaret Wise Brown. By the Big Red Barn in the great green field. There was a pink pig who was learning to squeal. There was a great big horse and a very little horse. And on every barn is a weather vane, of course, a golden flying horse. There was a big pile of hay and a little pile of hay, and that is where the children play. But in this story, the children are away. Only the animals are here today. What animals do you see in this picture? Can you find the horse? There are two horses, one, two. And I see a pig and a goose. And oh, you see a little butterfly too. The sheep and the donkey, the geese and the goats were making funny noises down in their throats. Where's your throat? Can you make funny noises? <coughs> An old scarecrow was leaning on his hoe and a field mouse was born in a field of corn. Look, this is how corn grows. See, those are the pieces of corn growing on the stalk. Cock-a-doodle-doo! In the barn there was a rooster and a pigeon too and a big white hen standing on one leg and under the hen was a quiet egg. There was a bantam rooster and a little bantam hen with a big clutch of eggs. Count them. There are ten. Should we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cock a doodle doo. What does the cow say? Moo, moo. 
There was a big brown cow and a little brown cow. There was an old black cat. What does a cat say? Meow, meow. And a tiger tomcat. Ow, yow. There was a big red dog. What does a dog say? <gasps> woof, woof, or bow wow, with some little puppy dogs all round and warm. And they all lived together in the big red barn. And they played all day in the grass and in the hay. When the sun went down in the great green field, the big cow lowed and the little pig squealed. Wee, wee, wee. The horses stomped in the sweet warm hay and the little donkey gave one last bray. The hens were sleeping on their nests. Even the roosters took a rest. The little black bats flew away out of the barn at the end of the day. And there they were all night long, sound asleep. Look, the animals are all sleeping. in the big red barn. But now it's dark, the sun has gone down. Only the mice were left to play, rustling and squeaking in the hay, while the moon sailed high in the dark night sky. Everyone's going to bed. Thanks so much for reading with me. Let's do this again. Until next time.